What's up gang? Today we're going to go over some creative uses of sample chains on the analog rhythm Make 2 from Electron. Here we go. Okay, we're back with the analog rhythm Make 2 from Electron and we're going to start today by loading a new kit because I don't like to overwrite old kits. So what we're going to do today is sample a drum kit. Uh, I'm going to be using the Clavia Nord Lead 2 once again. And uh, if you've used this keyboard before, you know that it has a pretty cool uh, drum kit function. So what I'm going to do today is sample a chain of drum hits and use that chain to create a kit. And we start that by hitting sample and then we hit yes to arm it. So now it's ready. And I'm going to go ahead and hit these different drum strikes and sample those. Yes to stop. Then we'll play this back. All right, so now we're going to trim this. I want to trim the end to right about there. Yes, to trim. And then what we're going to do is save it. So we hit yes. Let's call this one um, long. All right, so that is saved. All right, we're going to assign it to this pad. And then we're going to go back to play mode. We'll look at this pad. We'll make sure that the synth is off and the sample's on. Also, I like to turn up all of the volumes on these just to make sure that everything gets heard. So trigger, sample, everything is loud. Okay, so you'll see that it plays the whole sample. What we want is just the first part. So one thing that you can do here is we're going to copy the sound to all to these pads just so I can demonstrate how I would uh, make this chain work. So you can store the sound and just like load the sound onto the other ones, but one thing that you can do is uh, so you hit track, hold the pad, hit copy, and it copies one track sound, and then you're gonna hit track, hold the pad that you want to put it on, and hit paste. And we're gonna go ahead and paste it there too, and paste it there too. So now you have the same sound on all of those. So what we're going to do is start with the kick drum. And we're going to make sure that it's just the kick drum. One thing that I like to do to trim the start points of the samples is to pitch it all the way down. And then make sure that when you strike the pad, that there's sound immediately. Um, we'll go ahead and do that. Adjust the end point. All right. Cool. So that one's done. Then we'll go to the next pad and we'll get on to the next sound. And so I'm going to go ahead and see. So you see, I strike it and there's like a little bit of a delay. So what I'm going to do is move this up just one. How 
However, I kind of like it. I feel like... Yeah, that sounds good. So, not going to be perfect, but that's cool. Imperfect. Um, one thing that you can do is you can prepare your chains on a computer and uh, have them spaced out evenly so that you can um, have their start times at like even numbers and things like that. Um, I'll do that in another video, but today I'm just showing you a creative use for the sample chain feature. That's a good one. Looks like it's going to be 33. And then we'll make this one some other sound. There's the third. How about that last one? I like that one. So you don't have to pitch it down to get that that close but you'll hear like just because i did these by hand kind of willy-nilly sampled them in there that you may uh like miss the initial transient of the sound if you do it this way cool um you can also, you know, further adjust the sounds, but um, using, you know, any of the other parameters like overdrive. So let's go ahead and make a little beat here. I'm just going to do this by... Let's see, that is going to be my kick. And this one is going to be... Copy that trig. Paste. Paste, paste. So this is going to be at a lower volume and a little bit and in a lower pitch. Um, and then let's put this one on the five and the thirteen. We'll take that one down. Five. And then there's our hi-hat. That one we can... Let's do this because uh, this will make it... Um, way easier, right? Okay. So that just makes this little uh, length a little bit different. So what we're going to do is we're going to put this one like... 45, about, uh, what is this one? Let's make this one like 65-ish. Make this one high, then this one like super low. That way they all cut off. And then what we got over here. 
This one we will do. How about we do that like that? And we will make this one like turn the velocity down, which is pretty much the same thing as uh, what we did with the volume. Let's check this out. Go ahead and adjust the sample start time here until this. Let's also something good. Okay. All right, so that is pretty much uh, it for my little tip on the sample chain function on the analog rhythm. Um, this should also work on the, the, the first version of the analog rhythm. Um, and there are different ways to use the sample chain feature, um, as I said in the video, but this is uh, one way that I use it, 
and uh, it helps you get a little bit more uh, mileage out of your sample slots. So um, I hope that you found this useful. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Um, go down in the comments, leave me some comments if you like. Uh, give me a thumbs up or thumbs down, whatever. Um, so that's it until next time. Peace.